Silk Road Prosecutors Complete Their Bizarre Murder for Hire Story, by Joe Mullen. The Silk Road Trial, v. Wall, New York. The Silk Road drug trafficking trial neared its conclusion today, as the government concluded its case. The day began with prosecutors showing the jury more chats that detail how the website's boss, Dread Pirate Roberts, turned to violence and tried to kill his perceived enemies. The day ended with the rapid-fire set of three character witnesses who testified to Ross Ulbricht's good character. The government says that Ulbricht, the 30-year-old defendant who was arrested in 2013, was the Dread Pirate Roberts, DPR. Ulbricht's lawyer has said his client built the site but then handed it off to other people. The defense argues DPR was someone else. If it's not too much trouble, last week, the government showed chats where DPR reacted to an extortion scheme. A user named Friendly Chemist messaged DPR, saying that he'd been ripped off by a user named Lou Cydrops. Unless DPR paid $500,000. Friendly Chemist said he would expose the names of thousands of Silk Road customers, which he'd acquired from Lou Cydrops. Shortly thereafter, a user named Red and White got in touch with DPR, saying he represented a large criminal organization in Western Canada. Red and White explained that Friendly Chemist was a drug distributor they worked with. Today, prosecutors showed how the conversation between Red and White and DPR swerved into violence. Red and White kidnapped a man named Zinn, who was Friendly Chemist's supplier. Great news, Dread Pirate Roberts reacted. Red and White soon lost interest in Friendly Chemist, telling DPR that his people had questioned Zinn and ultimately executed him after getting drugs and money from him. But Friendly Chemist kept threatening DPR, convinced that Red and White and his people wouldn't ever let up. I need that money to start over again with my family. Friendly Chemist wrote in one message. In late March, he gave DPR a deadline to pay up or he'd release user info publicly. 500k is nothing to you but it's life and death for me. DPR asked for a favor from Red and White, whom he was trying to coax onto Silk Road to sell drugs. I would like to put a bounty on his head if it's not too much trouble for you, DPR wrote in a politely worded message sent on the Silk Road's private messaging system. Hopefully this is something you are open to and this can be another aspect of our business relationship. As of right now, we don't care about him because we recovered more from Zinn than what he took from us, and he also paid for it with his life, wrote Red and White. Still, Red and White was open to helping out. In a bizarre all-business tone, he explained the economics of murder for hire to DPR. The cost for a non-clean it would be at least $150,000 while a clean hit would be more. The people we use to do the recon are the hitters themselves, he wrote. If you want to make it look like an accident, it would cost a lot more. It wouldn't be suspicious. He would just leave one day and not come home. This is a developing story. Ours will have a full report on today's action in the Silk Road trial.